Are gamers becoming dumber? Well, a study that came out not too long ago suggests maybe they are. Now, on screen, I'm going to show you a graph. And what you're looking at is how motivated gamers are motivated by strategy in games. Now, a little before 2016, it's um, about 50%. And then you look to the right in 2024, it's about 35%. So does this mean that gamers are getting dumber? And let me get this out of the way real quick. This is something that predates COVID and is not affected by gender or where people live because the study did test for this as well. And the same trend is still seen. Now, the study does make some guesses of why this is. For example, shorter YouTube videos have garnered a higher share of overall views. Or maybe the duration of shots and movies between each cut has decreased from 16 seconds in 1930 to 4 seconds 2010. Or maybe the average time spent on a computer app window, like a Word doc before switching to a browser window, has decreased from 2.5 minutes, 2004, to 47 seconds in 2016. Now, I'm not really convinced this is the case. And again, keep in mind this is a guess because this study is actually a cross-sectional study because a longitudinal study, it, while it is a study taken over the course of a period of time, they study the same people where this study was conducted through the use of a survey. So they were testing anyone who took the survey, which means that they weren't testing the same people over a course of nine years. And what that means is you can't actually create causa causation of wh why this is happening. And also some of these things too that they rec suggest, I don't think are as clear cut as they say. For example, the duration of shots in movies really just suggests that people have better equipment and have a better knowledge of how to make a good movie instead of, oh, well, we're going to make it shorter because people's attention spans are shorter. Because you have to remember in the 1930s, you know, the cameras weren't as advanced and people were still used to making movies the same way as like they make a Broadway play. Now, why do I think this is happening? Well, I think the real reason has to do with the fact that the gaming industry is growing. But why do I think this? Well, the first reason has to do that strategy games have always done poorly, even before 2016. What do I mean by this? Well, let me give two examples. Actually, three. First, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is a strategy game. Now, I'm not going to explain it, but it is a strategy game. It's a game that does not sell very well. And Fire, the Fire Emblem, um, in, it's a Nintendo game. They were reluctant to release in the United States because they were afraid that gamers wouldn't like it. And the sales have always hovered around a million. Let me give another example. Metroidvanias. Now, Metroidvanias is another game that does require the degree of strategy. You have to look around a bit and figure out where you're going. That's a series that also doesn't really sell that well. Now, maybe you're still not convinced because maybe Metroidvania games aren't really that much of a strategy game. Well, maybe this will convince you. You know, Blizzard, they made some strategy games and I'm looking at their sales. I'll try and show them on screen if I remember. Warcraft 3 sold 3 million. Diablo 2 sold 4 million. Warcraft 2 sold 3 million. Diablo, the original one, sold 2.5 million. These are games that, while they were successful, didn't actually make that sell that much. Only 2.5 million people. That, now, compared to sales today. Now, if I remember to show this on screen, if not, the point still stands. That Diablo 4 sold 9 to 10 million copies and made $666 million in revenue. And... Keep in mind, Diablo 4 is a game that a lot of people are complaining is too easy and the game is garbage. Yet this game is one of their, is their best-selling Diablo game. And maybe this still doesn't convince you. Well, maybe this will. Pokemon. Pokemon is a strategy game. And do you know what the biggest complaint of Pokemon is? That the game's too easy. Now, why do you think the game is so easy? Well, look at the sales numbers. And I think you'll understand why the game is so easy. But that's only part of it, because these are games that you mainly play on a console or, or even a PC, but mainly console. But even the games that are strategy games you think of that were made in the past still didn't really sell that well, especially when you look at modern gaming, game sales. But now I want to show you a graph of how the gaming industry has grown. Now keep in mind, this is only money that I'm going to show you, but... This is still important, and you'll see why. All right, so on screen now should be the graph of 50 years of game revenue. Now, what is important, yes, there's a lot of growth, 
But also keep in mind, look at what the largest growing, look at the largest area is the mobile gaming industry. $101 billion. And what has grown significantly over this period of time, this is 2017, 2016, the mobile game industry. And now all of a sudden that study we see makes more sense. And when I see that study that we saw originally, what does that tell me? It doesn't tell me that gamers are becoming dumber. It's telling me that there are more mobile gamers. Because again, the graph that I showed, the console industry did not really grow that much. The PC industry barely grew. But no, it did grow a lot. The mobile industry. And it looks like it's still growing. And when you think of any mobile game, do you think of a game that's complex, hard to play, has all the strategy to it? No. Because guess what else? That game does not work very well with a game that has microtransactions. Because guess what? If you attract a player that's going to think about complex decisions, then they might think twice about buying your microtransaction. And that's not good for business. You want to make your game as dumb as possible. But also, the other reason for this is I think games are becoming simpler to attract people that normally wouldn't play video games. Because in 2016, about 70, I'm sorry, 2015, about 68% of people had a phone, a smartphone. And now in 2023, about 90% of people have a smartphone. And you have to keep in mind too, what does this mean? Well, you have to think, who is the type of person that would own a smartphone? Someone who plays video games or someone who doesn't play video games? Well, I think it's fair to say someone who plays video games would be more likely to get a, a smartphone just because they're used to technology in the first place. But also think of it this way, someone who would otherwise never buy a PC or a console, which is mainly for playing games, where PC, maybe you use that for work. But all of a sudden now a phone is accessible. It's something you, I would say most people feel like they need it. And all of a sudden now it gives people the ability to play a video game that otherwise wouldn't have. And so since these are people that aren't used to playing video games or otherwise wouldn't because it's not appealing to them, these games need to be simple and easy for them to understand. And again, we we'll, when I showed earlier of how gamers are less interested in strategy, what that really tells me is games are focusing more and more on a more casual audience, mainly because those are the types of people that are easiest to extract money from. Because if the person isn't going to think about the game they play or make think about the decisions they make, then they'll be less likely to make decisions when they're asked to buy the battle pass or to buy the cool skin in the game. So the answer to the original question, are gamers becoming dumber? No, there are just more gamers who are dumb who are playing video games. And so what does this mean? If you make a game that is a strategy based video game, it will probably sell as well or maybe even, um, even a bit better than it did if you sold it in the 1990s. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and thank you for your time watching this video. And I hope you have a fantastic day.